Hello, welcome to another Robotil training video. This video is intended for new cashiers that will be using Robotil for the first time. If you are a manager or shop owner that needs to set up Robotil, then you should have a look at our getting started videos for admin users instead. This video will focus on very basic training for cashiers using the retail module. To get started, click on the login button. Your manager would have given you a PIN number or an employee card that you can swipe or scan. It is very important that you keep your PIN number secret or that you keep your card on you at all times. If another employee gets hold of your PIN or card, they will be able to log into another computer and perform transactions that will be logged against your name and cash drawer. Once you are logged in, your name and the till session info will be displayed at the top of the screen. To start your first sale, you can simply scan the barcode on the item. Check that the item that you scanned was added to the sale. To keep adding more items, you simply scan all the items. If an item does not have a barcode, but you know the stock code, you can type the stock code and press enter. If the same item is already in the sale, the quantity for that item will be updated. It is also possible that your manager change the settings so that the same item will not be updated but that a new line will be added. If you don't have a barcode or the barcode does not scan and you don't know the stock code, then you can type part of the description and press enter. Matching products will be displayed. You can touch the one you need if using a touch screen or press the down arrow key until you reach the one you want and press enter. If you don't have a keyboard and you are using a touchscreen, you can use the online keyboard button to type a description. You don't need to type the full description and you can simply type a small part of the description to narrow down a search. You could also use the product search button if you are not sure what the description for the product is. When typing a description, it is better to type a small part that you know will be in the description. If the description is slightly different to what you typed, it will not be found. You can type longer descriptions to narrow down your search even more. If it is not found, then try typing a single word that is part of the description or even just a part of the word. Once you have added all the items to the sale, you can click on the pay button. If the customer pays the exact amount, you can just click on the payment method button. If however, the customer pays cash and not the exact amount, enter the amount of cash the customer gives you. The electronic cash drawer will automatically open. Give the customer the change displayed in the top right corner of the screen and close the drawer. Remember to thank the customer and greet the next customer as you start scanning the items for the next sale. The more you work, the better you will remember the stock codes of items that do not have barcodes. Remember to check that you are adding the correct items to the sale. You will sometimes need to select a specific item in the sale. You might want to change the quantity or remove the selected item. If you are using a touchscreen, you can simply touch the item or use the up-down buttons on the screen. You could also use the up or down arrow keys on your keyboard. If you added the wrong product, you can remove it. Select the product and click on the Remove button. Depending on how your manager has set up Robotil, you might need to call a supervisor or manager for some tasks. For example, if you want to avoid a complete sale. The manager or supervisor will need to scan their card or enter their PIN. If the customer has a lot of the same items, you can either just scan all the items or you could count the items and change the quantity for that item. You might need to give discounts. Again, depending on your manager, you might need to call a supervisor to authorize the discount. Click on the discount button. A list of discounts that is available for your shop will be displayed. Select the correct discount and then choose if it is only one item that must be discounted or everything in that sale. There might be customers that want to split a payment. 
They might want to pay a portion with a card and the rest with cash, or maybe pay with two different cards. Enter the first amount and select the payment option. The pay screen will stay open and show the amount that still needs to be paid. Enter the next amount. Once the full amount is paid, the pay screen will close and show the amount of change you need to give. Let's look at another scenario that will happen sooner or later. You will be adding up a lot of items for the sale, but when the customer needs to pay, they might realize they forgot their wallet in their vehicle. Instead of holding up the customers behind that customer, you can suspend the sale while you wait for the customer and continue with other sales. To do that, click on the Suspend Sale button. Note that you can only suspend one sale at a time. The sale will be suspended and the button will now display the words, Resume Suspended Sale. You can now carry on with other sales until the customer returns with his wallet. When the customer returns, first complete the sale you are currently busy with. Then click on the Resume Suspended Sale button. The original sale for the customer will be loaded and you can complete the sale. At the end of your shift, you will need to do a cash up. If this is done after the shop closes, you can do the cash up at the till. If however your shift ends while the shop is still open, you will need to log out of your till, take your cash drawer to the back office and log into RoboTill Retail on the back office PC. Click on Menu and then Cash Up. Select the cash option and start counting the cash. You do not count the cash amount, you simply count the number of bills or coins for each denomination and enter the number you counted. Count each denomination and press enter to move to the next. Depending on how your manager set up RoboTill, it might display the amount of cash you are short or over. When you are done counting the cash, you can move on to the other payment options. How you count the other options will depend on what your manager requires of you. You might only need to enter the total amount of card receipts you have. Once everything in your cash drawer is counted, you can click on Submit. Your till session will be closed and you will be logged off. Well done. You survived your first day. There is of course a lot more advanced features that you will need to learn that will be covered in other videos. Thank you for watching.